Hello Capricorn, what is going on? Hope you are doing very well. Um, my name is Diane and this is Madame Butterfly Tarot and we're going to do a reading for May. Uh, you're very welcome here Capricorn. You don't see something coming. There's something that is coming that you don't see. The moon and the tower. Uh, you're very welcome here Capricorn. Thank you so much for checking out the reading. Uh, hopefully the reading will resonate with you and if that is the case and you feel like liking and subscribing for me, I'd appreciate that very much as well. I'm just getting, I'm just saying it quick because I feel like we're just going into the reading here. There's a message coming in, the Page of Cups and the Chariot, and it comes in very fast and it comes in very out of the blue. It could be a Pisces, a lot of Pisces energy so far, but you're not expecting it. Okay, what else for Capricorn? Um, what else for Capricorn? The lovers. You're gonna have to make some kind of choice, I think. Or that could be soulmate energy. The Five of Wands and the Ten of Swords. Things were very up in the air. <clears throat> That's what's about to end. Something where you didn't know what was going on. You've been kept in the dark about it. Things have been very up in the air. That's about to come to an end. There's an offer coming in very, very suddenly. Very out of the blue. Clarify this page of cups. The world. Huh. The ace of swords. Something is like fast. There's like a fast breakthrough. You have the eight of cups and the six of wands. Something about moving on. Making a choice to move on. Clarify the six of wands, please. Yeah, you're like, you've learned some kind of lesson here. I think you've come out of hermit mode. <clears throat> Excuse me, I think you've been in hermit mode, healing from something. And now that you're coming out of that, something comes in really fast. Because you have the nine of wands and the seven of swords. That's what you're getting over. Like you, you've been, you were very hurt by someone and you've been very suspicious of people, but it was a lesson, whatever this was that hurt you, it was a karmic lesson that you have now learned. I feel like you're moving on from someone. I feel like you're making the choice to move on from someone. You know what though, it wasn't in vain because I feel like a lot of you have been on a spiritual journey, um, like finding yourself, because you have this knowledge now that you didn't have before about yourself, about spirituality, you know. Tell me about this five of, okay. <laughs> you have the six of swords. You're moving into a place of peace and harmony. I think there was an ending with someone um, and you didn't really understand why. I think that was the problem. Like, yeah, you're moving on from someone. There was a, a tricky ending with someone in your past and I think you never really understood why. But now that the time has come for the, the journey to end, they're going to tell you why, or you're going to get the information as to why. And uh, you're going to, you're going to be able to move on. You've got closure. This may have already happened. I feel like, I feel like it's closure. Tell me about this uh, Ace of Pentacles that comes in so fast. Whoa. Oh my God. <laughs> the Ace of Wands. There's some kind of offer. I feel like it's from a new person. Could be from a, uh, 
a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, specifically a Libra or a Virgo coming in. But Page of Cups could be Pisces energy. You're unstuck. That's why they're able to come in. And that's been coming out so much in the readings recently. So has this guy. <laughs> um, Page of Cups, King of Cups. Could be a Water sign or a Libra, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This is beautiful. Yeah, look. That could be what they have in their chart. Uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or Libra, or Virgo, something like a mix of that somewhere. There's an awe. See, because you've, you've moved away from this past person, you've closed a cycle down. You weren't meant to know, but now you've gained the knowledge about yourself or whatever. Like it's, it's okay for you to have this information now. And now, now that you've got the information about the past person, it's like closure. And it may come from the person or it may come from like a tarot reading or you just find out or you just some, someday, you just know, you just wake up and you know. And because you, it's, that's when this person comes in like really fast, really, really fast. Um, Cause that's why honestly, it's kind of pointless to ask about time in a tarot reading because it really, it depends on more like people than time. You know what I mean? Um, but they come in very fast. It's a very, very stable offer, but it's also like someone, you're gonna be so attracted to this person. There's a very, very strong physical attraction here, but they're also incredibly stable. Um, the King of Cups, they are very loving. They have a lot of love to give, but they're not like, they're, they're not flaky. They're not prone to like, fits of emotion they're you know they're in control of themselves but they're in in touch with their emotions but not ruled by them um if anything they could be a little repressed this person but with the page of cups they're very romantic and they're very sweet and um they're gonna offer you a whole new beginning whole new beginning i think they're probably more on the quiet side this person but there's like, oh my God, the attraction. Wow. <laughs> You're gonna be so happy with this person. And I feel like they come in very fast with the chariot and the ace of swords. There's definitely something about them, this king of swords energy, like they could definitely be Libra, which has been, the, honestly, I don't know what's going on with Libra, but they're all over the readings. Yeah, you're gonna find something out as well. Or you're gonna see things clearly. Everything's gonna come into focus and you're gonna be like, I get it, cool, let's move on. Like literally it's gonna be like that. Um, but they're, they're more on the quiet side, this person, they're more restrained, okay? You have the Knight of Pentacles here, they, they're more, they're patient. Um, they don't rush into things think Libra energy because they might not have that in their chart at all but that's how they're showing up like you know restrained um diplomatic they like to think about things especially if they've got Virgo in their chart somewhere they're coming in with a very stable offer but they, this may be the kind of person who like shows you through acts of love rather than you know I feel they're very romantic, but that might come how, in how they act. You know, they might do ni really nice things for you, like cook you nice dinners and take you out, or like their presence will be really thoughtful, or like a cup of coffee in bed or something, you know? But um, they might be like quite restrained, or that's how they appear anyway. You know, like they don't give a lot away, right? But you're gonna see, th you're gonna see through them. <laughs> Um, but the thing is, they have a lot of love to give. I think they just, they're restrained. You know, they not everybody sees that side of them. You're gonna, you're gonna be dating this person. You're gonna have a lot of fun. Mm hmm yep. So that is, yep, that's what's coming through. Um, tell me about this, yep, look. Unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. Whoa, hello. Um, okay. I feel like they've been waiting. Tell me about this new person, this King of Cups. Engagement ring. 
Uh, engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, union. So this person wants to marry you, okay? I mean, if they're new, hopefully they're not just going to come in and ask you to marry them, right? Because that might be a little, in <laughs> a little intense, but that's what they want. Like, that's what they're already planning. Um, I think you're going to be in a commitment with this person, like, pr like, fairly soon, and they want to marry you, okay? Yeah, they really like you. I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming. Fun flirting. Wanting to date. Yeah, they really like you. Tell me about this person. And I see the clock here as well. I feel like they've been waiting to come in. And you have love, unconditional love, self-love, passion. Yep, lots of passion here. Affection, attraction. You have soulmates, so this person could be a soulmate. Um, because I know sometimes it feels like you have to, you know, well, you're worried that if someone's going to be this nice um, and like this emotionally supportive, like th you, they won't be very, like the chemistry won't be there, but it is. <laughs> like with this person, the camera just went to 11-11. You have everything with this person, okay? Tell me about this new person for a Capricorn. No? Okay, hold on. I feel like, yeah, you have healing heart here. They're gonna, um, they're, they're gonna be very, very healing for you. This person, unconditional love. Giving and receiving affection, falling in love. I think you're gonna fall in love very quickly because they're very giving, they're very generous. Um, I think they're gonna wanna spoil you. And like I said, it's the King of Cups, like they have a lot of love to give. And you have healing heart. They may also have been through some kind of karmic connection as well. They might be coming in, I'm just looking at the cards here, you have Page of Cups and the World. They may be coming in to tell you that they've ended something, or you might find that out. Um, but they're going to be very healing for you, okay? This person. Anything else about this person coming in? They're going to be a breath of fresh air. Yeah, they're really interested in getting to know you more. Interested, conversing more, awaited message arrives, text, call, email. They really want to get to know you. I'm going to end the reading with a couple of messages from this new person. I really think it's going to surprise you. Tell me about this new person, like messages from the new person for Capricorn. You have the hanged man. I've been waiting for you. <laughs> The Ace of Pentacles, yeah, they're definitely coming in with this offer. I want to ask you on a date. I will take you to places you've never been before. They are going to spoil you. Um, they might even like try and book a holiday with you or something like that. You have the Two of Cups here, like a reflection, I am yours forever. Really, I think this person is going to try and spoil you. <laughs> uh, anything else this new person would like to say to Capricorn? Um, let us get some cards for their sign. Oh, that came out fast. They could be a Scorpio. They could have Scorpio in their chart. Uh, you know, having said that, Scorpio had an interesting reading about walking away from a, a toxic relationship. So you could very well be dealing with someone that has recently walked away from a toxic connection, okay? 
they could definitely be Libra as well. Uh, you also have Capricorn here, so you could be dealing with another Capricorn. You guys might be mirroring each other. And you have Pisces. So that could be what's in their chart. Um, or some signs to check out for this person. Uh, Libra, Scorpio, Pisces. Oof. You are going to get spoiled. This is going to be so nice for you. Uh, I'm going to leave you reading there, Capricorn. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe for me. If you feel like doing that, I would appreciate it a lot. And as always, I wish you many blessings, love and light. Take care.